done playing with so many freshmen. And we are underway. The big game here at Yale. Face off won by Nick Ramsey. That's going to be something to keep an eye on the face off dot. We'll see as many as seven different players taking draws for both of these teams. But first possession goes to the Bulldogs. Yeah, statistically. A run in May that they've been able to do so often here under Coach Shea. Again, Ramsey getting the better of Kukurulo at that face-off X. Two as Britt Evans leveled him, but he got the goal. And Yale is off to a big start here in front of this home crowd. Face-off violation, third possession in a row for Yale. We haven't even seen... Both teams are really inexperienced when you talk about postseason play because the uh, Ivy League has taken two years off, but Yale really jumped on Harvard quickly. They're up three to nothing. Yeah, they have some experienced guys like Matt Brandau, their leader on the offensive end. Chris Fake, the leader on the defensive end. They played in championship weekend right. on Memorial Day, so they have that leadership, the big game. The rotation of the defense is kind of shifting. He throws that backside feed. Beautiful lacrosse play by Gaffney. Massimilian wins the faceoff, and Harvard wins the race to the end line to keep wrath. And I feel like when I call games and a freshman scores a goal, I want to make a note that he was a freshman. Yeah. But I can do that for pretty no. much every player on this Harvard team. Six of their top seven midfielders are freshmen. It's and amazing. You, yeah, and you look at the Yale team, too. Th these have to be, well, I know they're the two youngest. That matchup between fake, if he can continue to play in space, he could have success. If he tries to get to the body on fake, he's going to get thrown to the mat. Stuzen, great ground ball in the middle of the field as it looked like Massimilian was going to win that faceoff and to keep it in play. Harvard comes out of there with it, though. Looking to clear it. Ray Durth. 3-0 in this game in this first quarter, and they've taken it, Kark, and they've figured something out at the face-off X. Massimilian's been very good since coming in. On this draw, Ramsey's able to win it, though, for Yale. He's in a little bit of trouble here, though. Gets out of it and gets it to Brandau. Yale can still lose this game, though, if Brown is able to beat... Uh, Dartmouth. Yes, and they're up. 11 and then both of these right teams now. would get it. Yeah. Well, Harvard. Harvard losing could open the door for Penn as well. Correct. There's a lot of Matt Gaudet and Jackson, Jackson Moral. Moral. <laughs> yeah, they hide maker inside, gritty, loose change, shots like that, quick turn and rake, and we're tied. Yeah, and the thing with Brandau too, I mentioned earlier, 14 turnovers. I looked at stats for, for other quarterbacks, like ball controlling type attackment yep. nationally. Most of those guys are in the high 30s or, or even 40s for turnovers, right? He has 14 turnovers heading into today. 14, that's nuts. And he's playing with Johnson, freshman. Lions just fits. Battle won by Ramsey. They'll get a good opportunity here for a quick offense, but Hackler couldn't quite handle the pass. Then he got it back, then he lost it again. Those are six on six right. defense. You have to recognize he's different on the perimeter than every other player on the field today. It'll go as an even strength goal, second of the game. Now he has 20 on the on the season. Nice job that time on Jerry Byrne is going with Kyle Massimilian at the faceoff X against Nick Ramsey, who's been taking all the draws so far for Yale. Loose ball. Ah, that's one you got to have if you're Harvard. And that's one Campisi always gets. I know. Instead, it ends up ultimately in the... That's a big goal for Harvard, breaking a 4-0 drought. This time, Cucurulo back taking the face-off draw. It doesn't help, though. One by Yale. He's the player of the year in the Ivy League. Like, like no questions asked. Like, how can you argue that? I also think he should be a Tourton finalist, top five player in the country. Ramsey now having his way at that faceoff dot. And that is not a recipe for success when you're... Second attack, maybe not as deep. Gives him an opportunity to show himself as a second attackman and starts dominating practice and making plays. Then you get your moment. 
Loose ball picked up by Harvard. Maybe the same number. Lines is a little bit taller. They do go to the same hairstylist, though, it would appear. King a little bit too. Hammer shots. Ramsey once again, getting, getting the better of Cucurulo. To increase his angle. Wow. Horn sounds to S. Otherwise, it's Bubble City, but if you're a, a UPenn lacrosse fan, you are rooting for Yale. A big time right now. You're right. They're, they're finished up. They were playing Albany today. And in previous years, that had been a huge game, but Albany struggling a little bit. As we get started here in the second half, Travel, isn't it? Yeah. Two guys from Southern California ending up in Cambridge. Campisi initially had the loose ball, but it got to fake. Wow. Campisi. That's a great ground ball. You see how quick. Sharp unassisted. Gets that Eli's lead back to two. Cucarulo really battling against Ramsey. Wins possession. Yeah, those battles, those those stalemates have to go Harvard's way because they're getting beat cleanly a bunch. And then he just got laid out by Ramsey, but the flag's gonna come out. Ramsey's gonna do time. That was clearly with possession. And That's I'm so sure good. Southie probably down in Quincy. Dorchester. Now we're gonna get a bunch of flags here. See how he reacts to some outside heat, right? Didn't get the warm up. And the clearing game. Yes. And, and this is no regular type ride we've seen from Yale. Like Yale is, is is throwing all of their pressure towards Harvard's defensive zone to make it really difficult for them to clear the ball. So so Bernard has a big factor in that clear game. Mullen has thrown some some sick passes today. Yep sense and awareness to anticipate cutter Sam King he's got game face off that's gonna be so huge here in this second half battling for the loose ball picked up by Harvard great job by if he stayed with his right there the only option was to go behind the back and the awareness of where the pressure was defensively to switch hands there at the last second it's all that it took. That's what's at stake. A lot. At the 310 mark, another winning faceoff from Cucarulo. Carter. It was Cabrera. Will Cabrera was the starter there. And when, when they put Lions in there, and Cabrera is a really skilled player. But Lions, I think, just in terms of the lineup with Brandau and Johnson, right. there's, there's chemistry there. Really strong chemistry. Cucarulo. Wins it to himself. You saw in that faceoff, Jerry Byrne was double polling it. Had two poles on the wing. Cucarulo didn't even need him. And bam. Jaeger gets the ground ball. Can Harvard strike again in the final 20 seconds of this third quarter? In space, and now you're shoot shooting from, from the perimeter and stretching that D on the extra man. That's what Harvard's needed all season long. Only at 26%. One of the worst in the Ivy League, right? Yeah. In the 60s nationally out of only 70 teams. That's that's a unit that struggled, that needed at Deerfield Academy. And Dowling has some box lacrosse background as well. Too easy to finish that one. Nice job by Oaken tracking down that loose ball, but he drops it on the carpet. Campisi picks it up. I'll say this too, every possession that Yale has, I want the ball in Matt Brandau's stick. It's, it's that simple. You're losing on senior day at home. This guy has a wealth of experience. Give him the rock every possession. For Jerry Byrne, Cucarulo and two long poles. Look at Ramsey though. Guddy getting possession. He'll shoot and score! Wow. You know when a face-off specialist wins, sometimes like, uh, maybe you need to call a timeout. 
kick it to the side. Not this time. Ramsey wins it himself. Look at the placement on a righty goalie. That is perfection. Hugs the off pipe of Bernard, who has no shot. Just the second of the year for Ramsey. Man, 11 seconds apart, those two juice goals, one for either team. Wins the battle for the loose ball, but loses his footing. Now we'll get a whistle. Yeah, that's gonna be a push on, on Harvard. It is. Ramsey got lucky because he's gassed right now. Like right. He, 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 needs, he needs a breather. How big of a liar was I at the start of the game? I said, you might see seven different Lions diagnosed with diabetes last summer. Still trying to figure out how to physically deal with that. But he's been working his tail off, as has Nicholas Ramsey all game long, winning yet another draw. This final eight minutes is going to be unbelievable. Ramsey, will he shoot again? No, oh, this time Campese, you know the defense rather says forget about it. He's gassed. Right. You look at his body language. That He's was Cressy. Gassed. Vince Cressy with the cause turnover. Now can Harvard attack quickly? A lot of folks here at Reese Stadium could use some old spice right now. Sweating <laughs> it out, right? You too. I mean, no doubt about it. I'm having so much fun. Hope you guys are watching this game too. It's been amazing. Harvard up a goal here, four and a half left to go. If this game goes to overtime, you could smell as bad as you want. <laughs> the game outweighs what I'm sitting next to. No question about it. <laughs> Another big battle at the faceoff. X Cucarulo initially got possession, but now it's just a scrum. Stusen comes out of there with it. Let's not underscore how good of an L. Chris. Just to remind everybody, baseball starting on ESPN News. As soon as we wrap things up here from New Haven, we'll bring it on over. Ramsey has given it everything he has and more today at that face-off dot for Yale. Johnson's feeling it. Have this at the end of the year as well with a spot in the Ivy League tournament on the line and maybe even so much more for Harvard in terms of the NCAA tournament. And it all comes down to who scores the next goal. Ramsey and Cucurulo have been battling each other all afternoon long, and it continues here at the start of overtime. Ramsey has the ball at his feet, can't squeeze it. Now he does, but he's in trouble. Loose ball towards the end line, saved by Tevlin, but picked up by Jaeger. Now Jaeger can run. He'll wait for the substitution. 